Hey, it's Mike with Carbonize This. So today we're going to carbonize some items that uh, we had just laying around the place. Um, a lot of it is just junk that we are going to throw away, but instead of throwing it away, we're going to turn it into uh, charcoal or, or biochar and use it in our garden. So here's what we have today. So first up, we have some old dog bones. Dogs aren't using these anymore and we could toss them, but we're going to carbonize them. So you can see they're uh, pretty thick. It'll be interesting to see if they carbonize completely um, just on the first run. Here's a bone that we did a little bit of trial with and you can see it's got some brown right in here and it did not carbonize completely. Um, it's still pretty solid. We're going to run this through a second time and see if it uh, improves at all. Next up on our list are some birdhouse gourds and we grow these on our property. We've got quite a few of them, don't need uh, these three. We have one that's already been drilled out. Uh, it's a pretty good size one. Uh, we took all the seeds out of it, so there's nothing inside. We've got a smaller one here that we have not cut up and you can hear that it's full of seeds. So uh, when we process these and get them carbonized, we'll break this open and see how the uh, seeds look. And then here's just a larger version that has not been processed yet. And you can hear the seeds. The last item on our list is an old ratty t-shirt. It's got stains, it's got holes in it, and I uh, no longer need it. And so we're gonna go ahead and carbonize this. It'll turn it into uh, uh, char cloth. And uh, it's cool because it's got a little firefighter theme here. You can see on the back, and we're gonna use fire to carbonize these items. So it's, it's quite fitting. And what'll be neat when we're done is to see if this design still comes through. All right, well, we'll load up the uh, biochar retort. So we're gonna put these uh, birdhouse gourds in the bottom. And we're gonna put this uh, little shelf I made in here. And then what we'll do now is we'll put these other items on top. There are the bones. Here are the bones that were previously done. All right, and then we'll put the shirt right here. So with this uh, particular retort, what we have is a, a barrel here that our items are gonna go into. There's a hole drilled in the bottom that will allow these things to off gas. And then we're gonna seal it with this lid. Then this barrel gets put inside of this barrel. It has holes in the bottom for ventilation. And then we'll add wood around the outside that'll burn. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. And then lastly, we'll put the chimney on it. Alright, so this barrel is sealed and it'll go inside of that barrel. So what we have to do at this point is add some of this scrap cedar and some sticks to the outside of the inner barrel and the inside of the outer barrel. And we're going to do that all the way around and just pack it full of wood and then we'll build up a big pile of sticks right here and light a fire and then the goal is to get this to burn from the top down and once that fire gets down to about right here we'll put the uh, chimney on it and then this will actually sit for several hours. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the chimney and lid on top and as that wood continues to burn that lid will just settle down on the barrel and we'll be out here just double checking things and making sure it looks good. Got hot quick. You can probably hear that flame and what's happening is air is being sucked in these holes in the bottom and the heat rising is drawing that air up really quickly and just fanning those flames. So this will get very hot very quickly and at night you can even see this chimney is glowing like a bright red. Okay, though you see a lot of smoke right now, as soon as that lid settles down here, it'll clear that smoke up and it'll, it'll get really hot and burn off everything completely. All right, I'm gonna use these cinder blocks just to kinda hold the lid down.
All right, so the lid needs... <laughs> okay, that startled me. <laughs> the lid just settled down on top of the drum and that'll continue as this burns off. The weight of the uh, cinder blocks will help it seat uh, tightly. So we'll uh, let it burn like this for several hours and it'll burn the wood down between the barrels and then we'll check it in the morning once it's all cooled off. All right, now it's time for the big reveal. So it ran for several hours into the evening and then we let it cool down overnight and so now it's ready to check out. So I'll unload the retort from the kiln and then you can see what it looks like. Alright, come check it out. Wow, the shirt is done. You can still see the design that was on there. And then we're gonna try to carefully pick this up and we'll put it on the table. It is fragile and it's tearing on the bottom. So we're gonna carefully try to pull out this tray. That is so cool. So here's the uh, t-shirt. You can still see the design on here. Let me pull my gloves off. But you can see it's really fragile. It just tears really easily. So it has carbonized completely. Uh, we could use this as biochar or we could use this as uh, char cloth. Now let's uh, check out the bones. Let's grab the bone that was already done. It is definitely lighter than before. Oh yeah, it is. it has gone completely through. You can break this bone pretty easily. Well, that piece you could. Now oh, that's a little harder. <laughs> so you can see that the bone has completely carbonized all the way through it. Let's check some of these other bones out. Oh yeah, look at that. That just broke so easily with my hand. Completely carbonized. There's no brown in there. It's brittle. So basically everything off gases that's not carbon. I mean, this isn't 100% carbon, uh, but it's pretty high. It's probably 60, 70% carbon. Um, turned very brittle and just crumbles. And that same thing with this bone. Well, no, this one's a little harder. And you can hear it. It's completely carbonized through. See if we can break this one. Oh, this one already fell apart. So this is still pretty dense, but uh, this could be, we could run it through again and it could get a little bit more brittle. All right, so I'm gonna put each one of these on the table. You can, you can see the larger one actually broke open on its own. My guess is, is just as it got hot, it couldn't take the pressure and it just burst. So let's get this one out first, the big one. I'll grab the other ones real quick. So this is the one that had the hole in it. They're very fragile. And here's the small one, and it did not break open. Let's look at the big one. So we'll, we'll look at the seeds and what happened to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. So look at the different colors. You've got some purples, some blues, and some browns. I'm, I, I don't know why why we have these different colors, but that's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna look at this in the sunlight so you can see some of the colors. There's some purples and browns and blues, like a bronze color right there on that side. That's pretty cool. I don't know why it did that. I mean, sometimes these can get like mold in them. And so I wonder if when the mold carbonized, it turned those colors. It's... You see the different colors there? And look at the uh, gold color here on the inside of the shell. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go look at the other ones. All right, so let's just keep looking at these uh, birdhouse gourds. So here's the one that has the hole, and just look how fragile this is. They just pop right open. Oh yeah, look at the purples. Let's go look in the sun at this. 
there's more of the purples and, and bronze and black color in here. That's pretty cool. Come look at this one in the sun. That is so cool. It's got that glossy look to it. Small little hole right there. Can't hear the seeds in it anymore like we could in the beginning of the video. If it wasn't so brittle, this would be some pretty cool artwork. You could probably do something to like stabilize the material and then put this up on your mantle or use it as a decoration. Pretty cool stuff. That being said, we're gonna smash this one. <laughs> yep, and you can see the seeds in it and you can also see some of the same purple colors. All right, so we did some random items that we had around our place. If you've got some suggestions, please put them in the comments, like and subscribe to this video, and I'll see if I could do some of your suggestions. See you next time.